Hi, my mother-in-law went on vacation and here's what she brings me back, <laughs> not a t-shirt, uh, cutting boards. This one is, uh, she went to New Zealand. Um, this one is a myrtle, they call it. Um, I'm sure it's not like Oregon myrtle. Um, this one is a black, black heart and this one is leatherwood. So we're going to go ahead and turn the keychain today out of, uh, we're going to use this black heart and see how that comes out. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here on the on the tube. And just kind of kind of twist it as it put it in, make sure it coats in there. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up on the chop saw a little bit so it's completely flush there. So when you put it on your bushings, ride right up against it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I put it in, in between the bushings. Everything just slides on, and these are just spacers um, to help bring it up. And this, because this is made for making pins, I have to put another little spacer on there so it'll tighten up. I'm not sure if they uh, if they actually make these just for doing like keychains or not, but... But this one's not, so we need to put a little... I just took a piece of dowel and, and slid it in there. So we'll bring this up. Tail stock up. Slide it right in there. Go ahead and true it up. What you want to do is just bring it right down to that bushing. That's where the, the caps are going to fit on it. But you can make it, you know, in any kind of shape you want in between there. I'm just going to have it kind of bulge out a little bit in the center. Kind of make it kind of even. Clean it up with my heel. Bring it right down. The skew leaves a nice, nice clean cut, so we're just going to go ahead and sand it up. This one is a is a toothpick holder. Is what it what it actually is? It's a keychain with a toothpick holder on it. But they have uh, different size bushings. Um, you can get whistles and then you just do whatever bushing you want uh, that size is. Or you can actually just uh, turn pins, and I think the pins are different size, uh, different size bushings too for different different types of pins.
Alright, this is, I'm going to finish up with the 600 here. This is a nice hardwood, it's, uh, it's black heart, what it was. Uh, it'll, it'll shine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, blow that off real quick with the air compressor. I'm going to put a uh, uh, hot crystal float on it. It's a, it's a wax mixture with shellac and has alcohol in it too, so it dries real fast. And it gives a nice, nice uh, glossy finish. And it's just a friction poly too, so you can put it on right here and it'll be done. Pull it off. Put your spacers back on. All your accessories. You don't lose them. All right. And there's. There it is, those are the other pieces to it. And then the pieces just, it, there. you press them in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go press them in, I'll be right back. All right, there you go. I just pressed them on with my drill press. I don't have a pin press, but it's just a toothpick holder or you can roll up an extra $20 bill. Just nice little keychain. Yeah, and I just I just picked this uh, mandrel up at uh, Woodcraft, and it was I think it was twelve ninety nine. Then you just get different size bushings for whatever you want to do. If you want to make pens or or uh, different size keychains or whistles or whatever. Um, but thanks for watching.